Praise the Lord Church. Today's Bible meditation is taken from 2 Kings chapters 22-23 and 2 Chronicles chapters 34 and 35. In these chapters, the key takeaway is remove the idols, repent and renew the covenant. 2 Chronicles chapter 34 verses 14 to 33. While they were bringing out the money that had been taken into the temple of the Lord, Hilkiah the priest found the book of the law of the Lord that had been given through Moses. Hilkiah said to Shaphan, the secretary, I have found the book of the law in the temple of the Lord. He gave it to Shaphan. He gave these orders to Hilkiah, Ahikam son of Shaphan, Abdan son of Micah, Shaphan the secretary and Asiah the king's attendant. Go and inquire of the Lord for me and for the remnant in Israel and Judah about what is written in this book that has been found. Great is the Lord's anger that is poured out on us because those who have gone before us have not kept the word of the Lord. They have not acted in accordance with all that is written in this book. Hilkiah and those the king had sent with him went to speak to the prophet Huldah, who was the wife of Shalom, son of Tokath, the son of Hasra, keeper of the wardrobe. She lived in Jerusalem in the new quarter. Because they have forsaken me and burned incense to other gods and aroused my anger by all that their hands have made, my anger will be poured out on this place and will not be quenched. Because your heart was responsive and you humbled yourself before God, when you heard what he spoke against the place and its people, and because you humbled yourself before me, and tore your robes and wept in my presence, I have heard you, declares the Lord. Now I will gather you to your ancestors, and you will be buried in peace. Your eyes will not see all the disaster I am going to bring on this place and on those who live here. So they took the answer back to the king. He went up to the temple of the Lord with the people of Judah, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the priests and the Levites, all the people from the least to the greatest. He read in their hearing all the words of the book of the covenant which had been found in the temple of the Lord. The king stood by his pillar and renewed the covenant in the presence of the Lord to follow the Lord and keep his commands, statutes and decrees with all his heart and all his soul and to obey the words of the covenant written in this book. Then he had everyone in Jerusalem and Benjamin pledged themselves to it. The people of Jerusalem did this in accordance with the covenant of God, the God of their ancestors. Josiah removed all the detestable idols from all the territory belonging to the Israelites, and he had all who were present in Israel serve the Lord their God. As long as he lived, they did not fail to follow the Lord, the God of their ancestors. God the Almighty is the one who replenishes us as we follow his laws. God gave his law for us to follow and be in covenant with him. Josiah, reading the law of the covenant, understood the need for repentance for all the works of his ancestors. He humbled himself to remove the unwanted idols, renewed the covenant with God to be replenished by God, and in doing so he lived in peace. Today. We also will have God's favor as we trust and obey his laws and enter into an eternal covenant through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Praise be to our wonder-working God. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for watching the videos and being part of Living God community. God bless you all abundantly.